The next step to start working is to change this shape to make it uh, look like a rectangle. But first, let me tell you something. If you want to make sure your uh, your model is fine, go to Edit from Modeling and use the Swift Loop. You won't cut anything, but try to check if you can make symmetric cuts or not to make sure you have a good symmetric uh, of course it won't be 100 percent symmetric but at, but at least the swift loop can create these cuts okay i won't use it of course i created the cuts i need now i will change i'm still on, on the top view i will change to edge mode and i will select double click and control the cell i will select these two outer edges and i will drag them up a bit I will do it again with this one and then I will start flatten the upper edge actually I did it on the wrong direction I will press ctrl Z couple times and I need first to rotate the shape so if you look here the logo goes to the left so I need first to select the editable body Activate the angle snap, use the rotate tool and rotate it left 90 degree. Now I will do what I have done again in edge mode. Double click these two edges. I need to push them to the left and then upward. I need to do this again with the outer one push to the left and then upward okay so now I will continue with the editing in the vertex mode I will select all these vertices and these two rows that too because I need to convert it to a flattened edge so I select these two groups of vertices I use a scale tool I scale them on the Y axis until I get a flattened surface or edge in other words that surface actually sorry okay now let me scale it on the X axis to the amount I need now I need to make this group even on the X axis as I can same on this side and I will do the same for internal group just let me make sure yes I don't need to take this one with me and let me flatten on X axis do the same here okay now I go to edge mode I select this edge but not all of it I use alt to deselect all these edges I need only the upper one and what I need to do I can use shift drag or extrude let me try it with extrude I need to extrude it upward but I need to make this value zero and uh, actually the extrude will need to make some modification in the front view so I will keep using shift drag instead so shift drag and I will create couple more uh, segments
still need more maybe three or four segments and that's it for this piece now what I need to do I need to make an extrusion of the overall outer edge so now I will select the outer edge I will double click and select this part too and I will use extrude this time I will make it 10 press ok and I will use a scale to scale it up so it goes outwards and I will press, press F to go to front view and take it down T again to go to top view and do another extrude press ok scale and go to maybe I need to pull it up and I need to go to front view press F pull it down and then I need to make everything even in the base so I change my mode to vertex mode and I will select all vertices in the base use the scale tool to scale it on the y axis ok I go again to top view press ctrl s so you won't lose anything and now what I need to do I need to start working with the shape to make it beveled like this so where is the beveled part it is this part right here but I need to double click this edge and I need to pull it to make it closer right like that and that one too now I need to take this edge so I can have an even uh, piece right here so let me see what I need to do I need to take everything ex except the outer part and make a bevel for it so what I will do I will select all the polygons then I will use control or alt sorry shift actually shift won't work here so again I will use alt to deselect okay let me try rectangular selection to see what I can do okay that's better now I need to deselect this outer rim and I don't need the outer rim with me so I go to perspective view by pressing P what I need to do here I need to make a bevel not much of bevel uh, oops I need first to deselect uh, this part and there's a tiny small one here need to get closer so I can see it I got the top view so I can see it better maybe I need to weld it so I, I won't have a problem so I go to vertex mode select this vertex and it gives me here that this is two vertices so I use weld to make it one same for this one two vertices I use weld and now when I get back to polygon mode I have no selection here I go to perspective mode again and I will use the bevel and I think I have no problems okay so I make the bevel value 
something like 7 and the minus I need it to be inclined with minus 4 oops didn't accept the value I pressed ok without modifying it so it's minus 4 I need to see it first uh, let me check with the image maybe minus 5 ok minus 5 is fine and still I have here the very same problem I had there so I press cancel and let me solve this in vertex mode I guess I have here three vertices let me weld it and here I have one vertex so I get back to polygon mode I guess now I won't have any problems and when I press bevel let me make sure everything is fine yes it is so I press ok and now I can start working I press T from my keyboard to go to top view now I can start working with the outer space right here what I will do after I finish this video I will change the location of these uh, oops these vertices here I need to straighten them up that's all so I will use the rectangular tool to push this group of vertices down and same for this side and same for here I need just to have a symmetric lock of vertices let me first before I do this straighten this up so I can have a rectangular shape so I need to select this group of vertices and I use the scale tool to scale it on the Y axis and I guess I can take uh, let me straighten up first and then I can take this row right here not both of them just this one and straighten on the X axis I need to push it outward and do the straighten again that's it let me do it here let me take this guy outward and then I select this group of vertices and scale it on the x-axis so what I will do after I finish this video I will straighten these vertices and see you in the next tutorial